Marshmello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to a little mini-sode uh, <laughs> I've been wanting to make. Um, so, as as you know, I, I still need to complete the Golden Monsters, uh, in case anyone, you know, needs some reminding. And, uh, in, in order to do so, I want to be, like, level, you know, 90-something, maybe 96, I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm actually level 89. I don't remember what level. I'm gonna have to check back. Uh, I don't remember what level I actually left off, uh, the final episode. But now I'm level 89, well on my way to 90. Um, I wanted to show this, uh, just, just to, well, keep an update that I actually have been playing. And, uh, I also wanted to show off how I've been grinding. So basically... Oh, I feel like I need more volume. Oh, yeah, in case anyone <laughs> wants to know, I lowered my game volume. Um, yeah, I, I lowered my game volume because I'm playing a stay for Fright Warden. Uh, just just uh, if anyone is interested in the whole time. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see, let's lower my this. So as you can see, I'm a big boy now, and I'm actually pretty strong. Yeah, so I topple with Jin. And then... You know. And then, let's see, let's do a Mithra. Oh god, I always say let's do a Mithra. Well, I'm not against the idea. Alright, so... I just want to show off how I've been doing this pretty easily. Uh... Okay, now time to heal. Reduce my aggro. Oh god, that didn't work. It's alright, they gain an aggro pretty easily, so, you know. Well, let me get a potion somewhere. If anyone could grab that potion, thanks a million. Oh god. I, I swear, it's, it's much easier than this looks. It's just that, uh... <laughs> I, I mostly... That mostly happens because I'm dumb, so... I think I have enough to do it, so... You know, I've never done it from here, but let me try. Because the whole point is that... Uh, okay, so I do... So I, I, I unleash Haze so she can break Jin's ice, right? And then I use uh, Mithra, for example, to break Darkness. Also because Mithra does a lot of damage, so that's why I choose her. And then Bridget to uh, take away water. And that that's three already. And then finally, I, have, I use Jin because Jin is actually probably the, the strongest blade. Also, he's fourth in line because, you know, he's the first one. There we go. Activate full burst. I have a thousand. Yeah, I have. You can see how easily I, I can cut through him like butter. And there we go. I even activate an overkill. And I get to do my final strike. There we go. So this is actually pretty special because uh, that fight ended much sooner than the other time. So I guess it's because I haven't really been updating my uh, strategy as I, I, get, I get stronger. Yeah, so the whole point is that like I have Hayes stop hitting so she doesn't keep gaining aggro. I reduce any aggro I already have. Uh, yeah, I just stand behind and collect potions to heal everyone else. Yeah, the, I sometimes get shackled. I always forget to switch, just swap Jin. So remember, the on, I only need uh, one of the blades of Adam. So whether whether it's uh, darkness or light, so you know, so the other one can break it. Uh, I need water from Aegeon. All right, I start off with wind from Haze, so that's that's the best thing about this. 
And now I just need ice from Jin. You know? Yeah. Uh, there we go. So uh, there's my ice. And then basically that's all. So you get it? I just need one blade from Adam, one blade from uh, from Hugo. And I'm pretty golden. And then, like sometimes I just like to add every once in a while. Like uh, for example, I don't use, let's say I don't use uh, Mithras uh, because you know like uh, technically I, just, I need uh, Minots you know, like to break him, to break his element, but it adds to damage. Uh, let's see, so Haze breaks ice. And remember, Haze is not a hitter, but with Elemental Orb Ender, um, it, she doesn't have to be. There we go. So I literally just do this so that it, it gets... Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that uh, Hugo and Adam and Laura are all strong enough to break and their their uh, counterpart element all right so I, I just want to also bring up the fact that technically speaking you could set up any kind of order you want because remember um uh all the all the uh, characters well, all the human characters uh, adam laura hugo they actually have uh what's it called they have you can alternate what uh, what element they use so technically speaking I have two fire because uh, you know because of uh, Hayes and Laura but I don't need to I could have another earth I could have another light dark whatever I need so think about this thing like uh, Mithra is is light so if I really needed darkness uh, technically speaking, I could make Laura darkness. So I'm going. Uh, for example, like I like using Laura. That's why. So the most efficient version I can think of is turning turning Laura into darkness, turning Adam into fire, and uh, yeah, and Hugo into fire. So you get it. So basically, like. Uh, basically speaking, uh, Adam can provide the fire or the darkness. You can also supply the darkness uh, element to the mix. So that that basically means there's two chances. There's three chances. No, there's two. Sorry, Minoth and Laura, and then uh, Mithra can break it during the turn, uh, during the chain attack. Then, uh. If Hugo and, uh, yeah, if, for example, if Hugo's fire, then Hugo, uh, Bridget, and, uh, what's his name? Adam. They can all supply fire, and Aegeon just breaks it. So you get it just like, uh, technically speaking, you could just do it more efficient by adding different elements to the mix. And once again, I do this because, uh, I like ending with Jin. Because he's the strongest. Well, at least like uh, in base strength, I believe he's the strongest. All right. Oh God, he's targeting me already. All right. So yeah, because if you, I have to be honest, if you want to make it a lot more efficient, you should definitely consider changing. Uh, the, the elements of Hugo and and Adam because I end up not using electricity uh, for the mix at all also whenever he breaks because he, he automatically breaks uh, whenever he does his hammer attack you know like when he basically slams his body like a hammer yeah so the only thing you have to be careful is that sometimes with the needles uh, yeah, with the needles, he can actually uh, uh, chain you, and what's it called? And with his uh, hammer attack, he can actually topple you. So it really sucks. All right, so I think I can actually do it now. 
Okay, so once again, uh, Haze to break the ice. Um, uh, Mithra. She breaks darkness. And then Bridget to break water. Alright, then uh, Jin to shatter wind. Alright, and that I don't. You can tell, like, I got a thousand. What, 13,000? Oh, 13,000, I'm sorry, 1300. And then final hit. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure that's all the time I have for today. Yep. My family came back. So I just want to show off uh, the progress I've had. I, I've done this fight, like, right now on camera three times, maybe. And I'm almost close to level 90. So. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I literally ran out of time right now. <laughs> and uh, just look forward to seeing uh, the end of this playthrough pretty in a, in a short while. At least if you're watching for the first time and, you know, currently. Of course, it's always going to be in the playlist section, uh, especially if you're re-watching or watching it at a late point. That was my dog. So I'll see you guys later. Don't say goodbye. Say shmalo. See ya.